What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside the thrift store and a little bit of a snowstorm. Hopefully that means less people are out here today. We're gonna head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. All right, I'm stoked. Let's see what they got. Let's see what's on sale today. They write their sales down on this whiteboard right here. 75% off blue, red, green. All right, normally these bins are filled with video games. Oh, there's still games in here. I already forgot the colors. Red, blue, green, I think it was. So green, I think is 25% off. And red and blue. I think that's the order. Wii Music, is this a good one? I always forget which Wii thing. I think it's Wii Party is the one that's worth some money. But for four bucks, that might be worth it. It's also complete. I love seeing complete. The reason why the game's not in here, they keep them behind the counter. All right, so the order is blue is 75%, red is 50%, and green is 25% off. And I don't think, oh, that might be worth something at five bucks. We'll stick it in there. Let's see what else do they got in here. Connect Star Wars. Ooh, a triple pack. Uh, World War II, Lego World. Eh, maybe Lego World's at five. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna have to look it up. All right, so nothing in here was worth it. I put the games back. You guys can see Wii Music. I'll make less than a dollar after fees. Wii Party, I believe, is the good one there. And this one, I'd only make a buck on it. It's, it's just not worth it there. So we'll leave it behind. Uh, they have a bunch of media back here that we could definitely check out. Lots of DVDs, Blu-rays. And on this side, we got about half a section of CDs. Normally it's full, so maybe they're gonna restock soon or maybe the snow kept pe uh, the stockers out, I don't know. All right, so I just checked through the DVDs and the CDs. I think somebody came through and scanned everything because nothing here appears to be any good, so we're gonna have to go check another section of the store. All right, they got a whole bunch of board games and bags of toys over here. So I'm gonna see if they have anything cool. Usually these are pretty cheap. Yeah, look at that, $2.99 for a bag filled with little Brain Quest. I remember Brain Quest when I was younger. That was so fun. Let's see what else they got over here. Here's a Funko Pop. Who is that? Uh, is that Freddy Funko as a chicken? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be any, it's only 99 cents for this entire bag. You got some random Pez. A My Little Pony and this Funko Pop. It looks like he's missing a tail. Probably not gonna be worth anything. All right, I found something really wild looking. What is this down here? It is $4.99 and it's a, was this a Satan mask? This is wild. <laughs> this actually might have some value. I found a George W. Bush mask on this shelf once that I think I paid a few bucks for. Sold for only like $25. I wonder what this one would sell for. I don't know what this is. It's like a demon or something for five bucks. Do I grab that? I don't know. All right, I moved to all of these toys over here. First thing I noticed is this pretty awesome game. It's a super clean box. Pirates of the Caribbean Life. And take a look at that price. Selling for about 55 bucks. Definitely gonna grab this. And it's only $2.99, what a score. Another pretty sweet game series that I like to buy and sell are the Operation games, especially when they're fun, different characters. And this Toy Story 3 one is only $2.99. Great price, selling for $23.99. So you'd make just over 10 bucks on it. That's a pretty decent pickup, I think. I think we'll grab it. Going through more of the toys here and not seeing too much on this back wall. Well, actually Star Wars Monopoly might be okay. If it's an older, eh. Boxes, looks like it's all water damaged. Probably not gonna grab that one. Uh, this brand, Think Fun, I've had a lot of good luck with their toys, so this might be a good one. Look that up in a minute. Let's see what else they have up here. Sorry sliders, mm, I don't know. Clue, Battle of the Sexes, an old Risk. I don't think any of that's gonna be super worth it. I think I'm gonna look up that Think Fun game though. All right, so I looked up the Think Fun game, and if you take a look right here, the rank's a little high, meaning it'll take a while to sell. And you know, it sells for a decent price. You'd make just under $10. I really want to stick at over $10 profits, so we're gonna leave it behind. Coming down the aisles here, you can see how loaded it is with games. And I see a brand new sealed game right here, Hand to Hand Wombat. Look at that. Kind of cool, brand new sealed. I scanned it into Amazon and I got the dreaded message alert. Requires approval. Means it's restricted. You cannot sell this brand on Amazon. Anything that's Exploding Kittens brand. Uh, it would have been a decent little profit there, but gotta leave it behind. 
so I'm just scanning through a bunch of this stuff and I did find a couple sealed things. This smart ass game, this kids robotics game, Money Bank Robot. Uh, you know, they're asking I think $6 on it. It's brand new sealed, I'd make $4.30 profit, which for a brand new item, it's not bad. I don't have to count pieces, but again, I'm really trying to stick at those higher profit items. So I'm gonna leave it behind, even though there is some money there. I see a really cool Clue Haunted Mansion game next to it. Oh, look at that. That is neat. This might be worth something. Let's try scanning it in together and see what comes up. All right, I have the Amazon seller app pulled up. I'm gonna hit the barcode scanner. Hit that barcode and oh, looks pretty good so far. Brand new, it's selling for $90. Used at $33.99. Let's see how much you'd make after fees at $33.99. So there it is. After fees, you'd make $22.50. If it's $2, I think it'd be worth it to pick up. Let's see. Ah, uh, they're asking six bucks on it. So a little higher than how I want it to be. You'd still profit about 15 bucks. I might grab it because there's no FBA sellers and I could charge a little more. I'll stick it in the cart for now. Another game right here, Throw Throw Burrito. I actually find kind of often, and it's $5 brand new sealed. Seems like a great price, but again, request for approval. It sells super fast for $20. I'd double my money on it, but it is the Exploding Kittens brand. You can see it right there in the title. They do not like you selling their stuff on Amazon, so we'll leave it behind. All right, guys, I think I just found a once in a lifetime find at the thrift store. Take a look at this Harry Potter wand right here. I don't see a price on it, but take a look at what it's selling for on Amazon used. Crazy, this one's brand new sealed. Uh, oh, I see a price, they wrote it. Oh, it's $30.29, meaning it's 30 bucks. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a little more research on eBay to make sure it's actually selling for that price. All right, so taking a look at the Harry Potter wand on eBay, you could see brand new, 50 plus 10 shipping, so 60 bucks. So I think it's still worth it, and I believe it's 25% off. So, you know, it's about 20 something dollars. I, it might still be worth it. I'm on the fence. I'm trying to press it to get the sound effects to work and the battery's dead inside. Uh, I really wish it wasn't $30, but I'll, I'll stick it in the cart for now. All right, we found a cool chug Opoly game by Spencer's Gifts, which is kind of wild. Never seen that at a thrift store. And I scanned it in, there's actually no barcode on it. So with the Amazon Seller app, you can take a picture of the front of the artwork. I'll actually show you guys. Let's go through this again. So here's the Seller app. There's a little camera icon up here and I can use it to scan the image on the front of the box. It usually takes a couple seconds and then it pops right up. Take a look at that, there's Chugopoly. The picture's slightly different, but the game is the same. Selling for 25 bucks. I'd make $10 on it just about, so I think that's worth it for a brand new sealed game. I'll grab it. All right guys, I spot a little Lego popping out from the shelf here. Let's see what we got. A Lego, oh, there's writing on it. Lego Technic, happy B-Day, JJ, from Prene. <laughs> okay, it's $7.99, it is brand new. Box is still sealed, but uh, you can't sell it as new with that on there. But take a look at this price. I believe it's going for some pretty good money. Uh, it's Lego Technic 42046. Crazy to find something like that at the thrift store, brand new sealed. We're definitely gonna grab it. Even though it has writing on the box, we can still make some good money. Another pretty sweet game. I actually bought this game for myself at the thrift store not long ago. And uh, well, a while ago, a couple years ago. <laughs> But this one is how much? Where's the price on it? Two, yeah, $1.99. What a great price. Take a look on Amazon. Great rank, selling for $24. I'll make 12 bucks on it. So that's a pretty easy pickup. We'll throw it in the cart. All right, guys, I found this cool Mr. Bucket. I remember this from when I was little, so I had to scan it in. It's priced at, I think the price is over here, 99 cents. What a good deal. Looking it up on Amazon, pretty good rank, $69. You'd make 51 bucks on, that's a $50 profit on this one little Mr. Bucket, it's going in the cart.
All right, so I just pulled down this Franklin Discover Read Me a Book, Any Book. It's brand new sealed, but the box is a little damaged. It's $7.99, and here it is on Amazon for $45. But with the damaged box, you can see the artwork's a little ripped up down there. It's just a little wavy. I don't really like selling things like that brand new. And I just switched the price to used, and it's going for the same price. So yeah, at $8, it's about a $22, $23 profit. We'll grab it. Here's a really cool vintage game I've never seen before. Parker Brothers Game of Words Probe. How much is it? Uh, $1.99, great price. I looked it up and take a look at this. Ranks a little high, but it will sell. Used $50, brand new. It's selling for 80 bucks. Sometimes it doesn't tell you exactly how much you'll make, so you gotta back out, click back in. And there we go, used 50 bucks, you'll make $36 minus the, what was it, $1.99? Yeah, so that's a $34 profit. It's going in the cart. One game I always like to pick up are these Rush Hour games. They have multiple different editions. This is the Deluxe Edition, and it is $2.99. Take a look at this price right here. It sells super fast for $32. bucks. i would make just under $20 on it. That is a pickup. It's going in the cart. Another thing we have right here on the cart is this water rocket kit. 4M, another great brand I like to look out for. Let's see what the price is on this. $3.99, so $4. We're gonna have to scan it in and see what happens. All right, here it is, selling super fast for probably 20 bucks. So you'd make about $10 profit, but they are asking $4, so I'd make about $6. I'm gonna leave it behind. Again, we're trying to shoot for those $10 and ups. Another board game that's really good is Labyrinth, and this one's only $1.99. I've sold this a bunch of times because if you look at the listing, it sells super fast. The lower the rank up here, the lower the number, the faster it sells. You want this as close to one as possible. And take a look at that, $27.93. I'll make $17.64 minus the $2. That is a $15 profit in my pocket, and in the cart it goes. All right, guys, take a look at this right here, Erector brand. This is pretty sweet. I haven't found an Erector brand item in a while. It is $2.99. I just knew it was gonna be worth something. It's brand new sealed. Here is the price on it, selling for 80 bucks. Gonna make about $60 on it. We're definitely gonna grab that. All right, right below the board games, I noticed this brand out of the corner of my eye, Peter Millar. Great brand for shirts. I didn't know how they do for pants. They are priced at $15, but I think these are like golf pants. They're really nice blue green plaid. I'll pop up some prices here on the side. Brand new selling for over 100, but used you get maybe 35, 40 out of them and at 15 bucks, it's just a little too high for me to want to mess with. So I think we're gonna leave them behind. All right, I moved over to the electronics because I pretty much went through all the board games. I noticed this printer I've never seen before. It's an Epson ET2850 for 40 bucks, which seems a little expensive. But take a look at this, brand new. It's selling for $300. Now, it doesn't come with any of the inks, so you'd have to sell it used. Odds are that 250 is closer to maybe one, or that 299 is closer to 199 used. So you'd make about 150 bucks on it two issues. I have no idea if it works. They do not offer returns here and it's 40 bucks. So I'd make about a hundred or so dollars on it. You know, after shipping, maybe like 90 bucks. I'm not willing to take the $40 gamble on something without any possible guarantee of returning it if it doesn't work. I'm sure you could probably sell some of the pieces on here, but if this was $10, $15, it's a no-brainer. I, I gotta be a little pickier when it comes to things like that. All right, now the thing on top of the Epson is very interesting. The brand Marantz is very good. It's only $7.99. It's a Blu-ray player. Down here looks like it's broken and missing a little plastic covering, but I did look it up on eBay, and the most recent sold is $175 with the remote. The next one's $180 uh, and then $78. Doesn't sell very regularly. Look at that. Last one sold in October and then it went November, December, and then partway through January before the next one sold. So you'll be sitting on this for a couple months probably. I also don't like how it's broken. Um, no idea if it works. I'd have to buy the remote. Something like that. Just don't want to mess with. I'll leave it. Somebody else might pick it up and make some good money on it. But for me, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it.
These Bose Wave radios can be worth some great money. Take a look over here on Amazon and they sell really fast for about a hundred dollars. Great find if it wasn't 50 bucks. It's also discolored, it's very yellow, but $50, that's definitely too high because after fees, they only make about 20 bucks and I have no idea if it works. And also, look how white it's supposed to be. Look how yellow it is. Big difference, we'll leave it. Even though I'm personally not picking up a bunch of these electronics, these are things I want you guys to keep an eye out for when you're thrifting because who knows, maybe you'll come across this weird uh, trapezoid shaped Bose radio at your thrift store for five, ten dollars and it, you know now it's worth about a hundred bucks. Definitely a great thing to keep an eye out for. Same thing when it comes to that brand Marantz and these Epson printers. They're all really, really good. I like this avocado ceramic thing right here. I don't know why uh, I'm leaving that. but. Yeah, just definitely keep an eye out for those things. I always look for DVD VCR combos. This place pretty much stopped selling VCRs a few years ago. And of course now VCRs are worth so much money. So it's a shame, but I never see them here anymore. So regular DVD players, they're just not worth too much. Are your guys' thrift stores loaded with these little uh, hoverboards now? I see them at every single thrift store I go to, especially that Swag, Swagatron brand. I see it all the time. Um, I remember these things were selling for two, three hundred dollars when they first came out. Now, what, they're 75% off, I think. <laughs> so they're 15 bucks and nobody wants them. Just pulled this off the wall, a Logitech wireless mouse. I believe green is 25% off. So it's 750. Here it is selling super fast on Amazon for 21 bucks. So I'll double my money just about. Uh, it's just under my $10 threshold today, but I figure it'll sell so fast and it requires zero prep. I'll do it for a quick 750, why not? All right, flipping through some of the clothing here, finding lots of great brands, especially this LL Bean brand new with tags for $9.99. This thing is super nice. I looked it up on eBay. I couldn't find the exact color, but this is a sold listing. It's the exact same sweater, just in red instead of blue. $72.21 plus $10 shipping sold. And this one's 10 bucks. It's really nice, it's all lined. It's like Sherpa lined kind of. Uh, super, super nice for $10, brand new. Yeah, I'm grabbing that. There's also lots of other great stuff that I'm passing on. Like here's a size large Vineyard Vines for 10 bucks. Uh, right next to it, here's another 10 buck Vineyard Vines. Quarter zip, half zip thing, small though. Uh, what else is there? Finding a lot. There's Johnio, decent brand, but somebody wrote their name in Sharpie up there. Here's another Vineyard Vines, 25% off, so it's about 10 bucks. Pretty nice looking. Cotton nylon. What else do they got? Lot, lots of great high-end stuff. Prices are a little high. Here's another LL Bean, just like the one I threw in the cart. This one's 10 bucks, but not new with tags. Still a pretty nice one. What else do we got here? Oh, here's another Vineyard Vines. This one looks really good for 13. A little high, I like to pay a little bit less on clothes. Jack and Jones, never heard of that. Might be something. Grant Thomas, two ply cashmere, it feels really nice. There's another one of these Vineyard Vines. This one's pretty nice, I like the colors. Even for myself, if I wanted to wear something like this. It's probably super warm for 13 bucks. It's a pretty decent deal. There's also a cable knit polo, Ralph Lauren right here. Not wool, I think it's just cotton. If this was wool, I'd probably grab it for eight bucks. Great looking stuff here. All right guys, another great brand that I like to look out for, Orvis. Size double XL, brand new with tags. It's a signature fleece pullover for $12.99. I found the exact one right here. You guys can see the very first listing. This is sold uh, last month for $50 plus 23 shipping. I'm looking at solds right here. Not too many of them though, that's the issue. See, only a few have sold. Some have taken best offers of 30, uh, 27.99, so not a lot for 12.99. It's tough, because the exact one right here sold for 50, but I, I can't really find any others. So I think I'm gonna leave it. This is pretty neat. It's $10, it's a North Face Summit series. It says on the sleeve right there. I typed it in, looking at the solds, it looks like 30, 30, 32. It's similar to these. Uh, it's a half zip, so it's closer to this guy for 44. Mm, looks like, 
Yeah, 72 brand new. It's probably closer to that $30 range. Uh, spending $10 for a $30 flip, that's not what I personally want to do, so I'm going to leave it, but it could be a decent flip, especially on half off day. This Champion right here is pretty cool. It's made to look vintage. Really neat looking. It is $10. It says it's uh, Champion Heritage. I looked it up. Uh, there's some listed for between 25 and 35 bucks, so not worth too, too much. But it's pretty cool. I thought possibly it'd be worth a little more. I'm leaving it behind. Here's another really cool item. It's a jersey from Rapid Dominance. It's 10 bucks. A lot of things are 10 bucks today. Most things are 10 bucks today. Uh, it's all sewn on patches. I really love the way it looks, but I looked it up online. And you can see one right there, sold for 25 plus 17 shipping, so about, eh, what is that, $42. Uh, that's not terrible, but it is pretty big. Could cost a little bit to ship. I think I'm going to leave it behind. If it was 5 bucks again, I'd definitely grab it, but at 10 got to leave it. All right, they got a whole bunch of hats. I figured we could take a quick look through them. It's an NFC East Champions Eagles hat. Not that good. What's here? Cooperstown, no, an NRA hat. What is it, $1.99? No. How about Parmigiano Reggiano? Okay, Parmesan cheese hat. What do we got here? Park City, no. Giants, kind of basic. Most of these, you know, you try to look for the uh, vintage hats and all that kind of stuff. And here's Sydney 2000 Olympic hat with some paint stains on it. It's almost vintage-y. Invincible. Uh, don't think I'm going to find anything over here. Another Giants hat. Domino's? No. Bass Pro Shops Club. I know Bass Pro Shops hats were worth a lot of money at one point. Pretty sure they've come down. It's a cool looking hat though. There's an Under Armour. I don't know what that is. Colts? No. Oh, there's an Islanders hat. It's kind of kind of basic though, a little too basic. Yeah, not seeing anything that's... Uh, the uh, camouflage Giants hat's not too bad. Lots of Giants stuff here. Five bucks, not a terrible price. Yeah, I don't think I found any cool hats there. I think we'll uh, keep looking. All right, guys, I found three really nice shirts here. We have a wool Orvis uh, size large for six bucks. It's a wool cotton blend, but it's, it's very clean. It was just dry cleaned, I believe. Yep, there's a dry clean tag. Right next to it with the elbow patches, we have a Pendleton 100% wool for eight bucks. Didn't see any holes or anything in it. Is there a little snag there? No. It's very nice shape. Gotta love that. And then right next to that, this all red 100% wool Pendleton for eight bucks. It is the, uh, what does that say? Something shirt? Lodge shirt. And this, uh, oh, is this also? Nope, this is the trail shirt. Great, great shirts for eight, six to eight bucks. This is also 25% off, so I'm gonna grab all three of these. I used to always have such luck selling these Donover ice cream makers. I don't know how well they sell anymore. I'll pop a price up here, it's eight bucks. This box is taped to all heck and there are just stickers all over it. I, I don't wanna rip it all apart and mess with it right now. I don't even know if it's in here. It feels like it's in here. Um, but again, I used to sell these ice cream makers like crazy. So if it's still worth it, you guys can see and pick them up if you see them. All right, so we have the cart loaded up, basically almost filled it pretty good. We got the Legos, the board games, multiple pieces of clothing, which is kind of cool. I got myself a tie for an event I'm going to, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, some electronics, this electronic reader thing. Hopefully that ends up being pretty good. I think it will be. And then of course the computer mouse. So a nice little variety of things here. No video games, no media for a change. So pretty happy about that. I like to branch out and get a few extra different things, but mostly, you know, toys, games, clothing, lots of great stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.